in the last part we talked about um, creating this this arm but considering that this is going to be a cartoony character and not a realistic character um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a copy and put this up here for uh, for us to compare later on now what we may want to create is a um, a cartoony character which which doesn't necessarily have the anatomy of, of uh, a normal human being um, so uh, the arms could be for example too thin or the legs could be too fat or you know we could we could go ahead and be creative and create what we want to create what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this last um, border here hold control and click on the polygon that will select the polygons connected to those edges and I'm just going to keep on growing this until around say about there uh, I'm gonna delete that um, now rather than considering this as being uh, the arm itself I'm gonna consider this being uh, a t-shirt for example um, so in this case it might need to uh, be a little tiny bit bigger because the arm would need to fit in it um, that's up to you if you want to scale it or not. I did scale it just a tiny bit. And what I may want to do here in this case, now if this was going to be the shirt of my character, um, and the arm was going to be uh, kind of quite thin inside of this of this shirt, uh, what I could do is select this border, shift and drag that, very tiny, very, just a little bit, and then in the front viewport I'm just gonna shift and drag this inside and I may also give it uh, or scale it down a little bit so now this is inside our character here it would be very good if this could line up with this other edge here it would make it easier when it comes to rigging I'm gonna shift and drag this again to make a uh, smaller cylinder if you like and then I'm gonna go and shift and drag this out something like this Now, if this was going to be the arm, the shoulder I would assume would want to, or or the uh, the cloth would assume, I would assume would want to sit on it. So in that case, <coughs> uh, let's see what we have here. Um, we may want to um, let me grab this, do a control polygon, grow that a few times and maybe a couple of times more and let's just go ahead and uh, maybe shrink that let's have a look yeah that seems a bit, a bit better it the proportion of this matches the arm much better. Um, I remember the reference that we have behind the screen. That's just for uh, uh, for references. We're not going to duplicate the image that we have. I may also want to just bring these down a little bit so that it sits better with the uh, uh, the arm. I'm, I keep pressing Control X to switch between between the uh, uh, see-through or um, shaded mode I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller again I think okay that looks better I could select the end bit here as well and shift and drag this now this area is where the elbow will sit we would need to have multiple um, loops going around here so that um, 
we could bend this bit better. And I'm going to shift and drag this out again. Uh, and I could put that over here. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look. See how this looks all together. Not bad. I want to just bring this forward a little bit in order to give it uh, a better um, visual feedback for us at, while we're modeling. Um, so that could be that could be the arm, and this could be the uh, uh, the shirt really. Now in the front view part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a symmetry modifier on top of this model and I would want the mirror of the symmetry uh, to be where the chest is um, hmm. okay that had to be in the Z axis so you need to play with the axis in order to make sure that you get a duplicate on the other side but the main important thing is to make sure that the mirror sits um, right in the middle of the chest so we could consider this as our character being in, in uh, progress basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to ATL Poly if I want I could click on show, uh, show and result in order to see the toggle between that, I'm going to leave it off on that. I'm going to select <coughs> the few um, these three polygons uh, or edges in the front, um, and I'm going to shift and drag them out a little bit. Now this is what's going to form uh, the front section of the shirt. So. I would want these two to kind of get together and this could become the front of the shirt that I've come out a little bit too much um, it's very important to make sure that the proportion of what we make uh, is logical and maybe just take it a bit more forward take this a bit more forward as well Okay, and then in the front viewport, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two edges that I just created. And remember, the more editing and the more segments you create, the more editing you have to do. Um, but if you keep the details low while you're mo making the initial models, then at the later stage, uh, it will be easier for yourself. And if you want to add segments, you can always add segments later on as well. So I'm going to shift and drag this down and I'm going to target weld this vert to this vert and I'm just going to bring this one a little bit further down um, just don't have enough detail here so what I might have to do is select this ring and make a connection there so that I could bring this vert out a little bit more I may also also want to turn the try on this one polygon. If you look at the polygon, you can see that the try is going that way. I could go to the edge mode. I could go to turn mode and then turn this the other way. Or maybe just leave it as it is actually. Yeah, I think that's better. It's okay. Um, <coughs> bring these a little more forward. At this stage, I'm not really paying attention to the uh, to the reference. I'm just uh, designing what I would um, think would be the the better way of uh, having this model. Just tweaking these vertices around a little bit. You got to be creative. You can't really follow a specific rule because each different model will require a, a different approach to it. And I'm going to do the same with the three edges at the back. 
So I might actually do this in the top view. Shift and drag these. Now, actually, what I'm seeing here is the other one, which I copied earlier. So I'm going to move that back. Just bring these out. So something like this. Let's have a look at this from the left viewport. Okay. Again, these vertices probably don't want to turn back in. They may want to stay out a little bit. Okay. So let's have a look at what we have here. Okay, now we have this one continuous line that goes from here to here. This makes it easier for us to create the rest of the shirt. So I'm going to create, select all the bottom edges and shift and drag this down. We end up with this very 90 degree angle here, which is not nice at all. Um, so we may want to go and kind of move it back, but that's not, I don't think that's the only bird I want to be moving. Um, I also want to be moving these two to, to, to a certain degree as well. So just move these back a little bit, but uh, move these back a little bit and then the middle one a bit more and the rest and maybe this one comes out okay so let's have a look at this um, and let me just hide the reference images first just have a look at this it looks cartoonish okay um, but I think it's a little bit too wide especially the chest area is a little bit too wide um, what I might do is just make that smaller a lot smaller so we can <coughs> so it takes less time and less space um, what I might want to do is get my mirror and bring in <coughs> the other half so that again proportionally it looks better so we have this is how it looked before very wide and long because we were basing it on the reference that we had so I'm just gonna bring it a little bit together so it doesn't look as bad okay that's good what I'm going to do now is select the loop that I have I don't need to see the other half for now and let's have a look at the reference again I would want that to just kind of keep coming down until around maybe maybe just about there because our model is smaller than the, the reference that we're using also it's important that um, at the side here the character of the model curves back rather than uh, just being almost a 90 degree uh, shape so that seems to be a little bit better it's just a bit smoother if you like okay Okay. Uh, so that could be the, uh, the 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 shirt of the character, and that could be the arm. I could also put a mesh move on top of this just to make things look a little bit smoother. So this is what we have so far. And put the mesh was on top of the symmetry. Of course, it needs a lot of fixing, especially on the on the sleeves. But we'll come back to that later on. What I'm going to do now is go to my edit poly and um, I might actually leave this as it is for now. 
um, we'll create the leg in the next video and we won't continue from the same mesh we'll create that as a separate mesh so it becomes a little bit easier for us to model as well see you soon